So I want to do a quick video on the app and how you control the DMP40 here. And so the app is, this is the Jabao Aqua and the QR code is available through the brochure, but I'm sure you can find it elsewise. Um, and to open it, so you click it. I've already added my wave maker, obviously. The trick with the app is you have to press and hold for two seconds. So one, two, I'm in the device. Now, this is what I'm running. So I'm 75% on a rolling wave pattern right now. And what you don't see, there's actually two in here, but it's the same color. So if I go to program, it'll show you the difference. So I got a one, two. And so I have the majority of time with the 75% rolling wave and then the up above. So this is how it works. So you go left and right to change different ones. I click on this. This is my high flow, my larger area. Okay, I'm gonna go back. And let's go to the other one. This is my nighttime flow at 48%. So I have it rolling to a different uh, period and I can do anything here. So this is my lower one and I can switch it to classic wave mode and I'll show you what that looks like here. So let me move this box out of the way. And there, so this is how you do it and you can adjust your time back and forth um, and you can adjust your flow. So if I go back in here, I can run classic wave, 100%, I can change duration so it's more jolty. I can change it to longer flowing um, and let me go through the different things. So. Random mode just goes random all the time. It, it has everything I generally want. So it's got a jolty wave. It's got a flowing up and down wave. It's got constant mode. And then if you have automatic timers, you can plug in a third or fourth or fifth different little section. So I could go in here and do a 10 minute section if I want. And like I can shrink it down and do feed mode for a few minutes. And then I can go in here and add in another wave mode. So have a little feed section at different times and get it all programmed to where it works with all your automatic feeders or whatever you're doing in your tank. Um, I do like that the controller also has a power on and off because generally if I'm doing maintenance or feeding coral, that's you know random time. And so I'll just go and turn the power off real quick on the controller and then run it back on and it goes right back to the program. So that's how it works. Let me know if you have any questions.